by default in Maya, this cube now has UVs. So I don't want to get too complex with the whole UV thing. I want to use the default UVs and not turn this into a Maya lesson. I got tons of Maya lessons out there. Houseoftutorials.net, go to any of the Maya classes and log in as guest, and you'll find all kinds of Maya fun. So these are the UVs that come out of this project right here. And what I want to do is just take and export this as a UV snapshot. And I got this window by going into Window, UV Texture Editor. So Window, UV Snapshot, and I'm going to choose something like, oh, how about 1024 by 1024. I'm going to browse out. And this is where you start separating things. So I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop. It's going to go called Crate. Okay. And I'm going to keep all my work in progress in this folder until I'm done. And I'm going to call this Crate UVs. And then Crate UVs, uh, I'm going to call this actually a TGA. And save that out. And that means I switch this over to Targa and export. I have to highlight the square, hit OK, and then jump right into Photoshop. So the best way I've found to do that is just go to Create, right click, open with Photoshop. Okay, by Photoshop launches, we're going to go to the internet and find a Crate texture. There's tons of them. Okay, and if you go in here to uh, images, you can find something like maybe 512 by 512. Let's say this for example, it's a nice crate. And if you can't find it at first, Let's see if this link right here will lead us to the crate. Nice. The crate is a Norwal. Ah, here we go. Yes, there we go. Copy image. And let's go right into Photoshop. I'm going to say OK to this and then edit paste it right in. I then am going to scale this down to match the UVs. The best way to do that is under the move tool use show transformation controls on. Also you might as well have auto select on. Get it to line up and if you hold alt what it'll do is it'll make a duplicate of this object. If you use your arrow keys, you can manipulate it a little bit finer adjustments. And if you hold shift while you do it, it holds it straight. All kinds of little tips. Toggle that over a little bit and do that one more time. Good. Very easy. T formation. All right. Now, under channels, there is a channel in here we need to get rid of. It's called Alpha 1. We do not want it. I'm going to delete that channel by right clicking on it. And then I'm going to save this to something. You can save it whatever you want. I'm just going to choose TIFF because later on I might make a normal map or something like that from it. So I'm going to choose TIFF. So this is Crate. Now this is going to keep all the layers with it. So, you know, later on you might want to make a, a different version, not TIFF, but maybe TGA or PNG. PNG seems to turn out very well with Unity. I used to like JPEGs, but I know I did notice quite a frame rate drop with JPEGs. 
All right, so back to Unity. And right now, um, I could apply that to this box, but that wouldn't be fun, right? Because there's a few things within Maya that we've got to clean up. And that's in the next video where we clean up the scene, apply the texture, and then that way it'll apply everything back into Unity without doing much work.